So NASA has announced its plans for reducing carbon net emissions from commercial aircraft. And as part of its plans, NASA will be partnering with Boeing to develop a new experimental and environmentally friendly airplane called the Sustainable Flight Demonstrator. Take a look. But we're going to reduce as much as 30 percent the fuel consumption with better engines. All right. The uh, transonic plane will feature long and thinner uh, trust based wings and is set to hit the skies, they say, in 2028. For more now, let's bring in Dieter Holger to talk more about NASA's initiative. Dieter is a sustainability reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Um, it's, I think it's going to strike people as sort of surprising that NASA is involved in designing commercial aircraft. Explain that. Explain why that is. Well, you know, it might not be that striking at all. NASA has actually a long history in working on aeronautics and um, helping develop pilot projects for aviation. They're also working on an electric aircraft. You know, electric the, aircraft. Hmm. But the issue mm -hmm. I have with this topic is the aircraft isn't the problem. It's the fuel we use to fly these things. And I've already seen, you know, as my time on the transportation beat, that there is a real lag in using what's called sustainable aviation fuel. That's just a cleaner fuel for the planes that we already have. Um, it's hard to adopt that in so many places because of the cost of improving infrastructure. Hmm. So what impact do you really think this plane could have on reducing the CO2 levels when we're struggling to get sustainable fuel being used. Right, that's a very good point. I mean, sustainable aviation fuel is very scarce. Uh, it's not being yeah. produced at a high enough level, and it's quite expensive. So the big draw or pitch of this plane is that it's 30% more fuel efficient, up to 30% more fuel efficient, and that could mean 30% less carbon emissions Notably, they announced that this could actually uh, reduce costs of flights. Well, it certainly will for the air airlines, and that could also save costs for consumers, though naturally the airlines could just add that to their corporate profit. The thing about uh, efficiency is that it also, many economists say, increases consumption. So we're wow. expecting many more people to start flying in the coming years as it becomes cheaper to fly and this aircraft might help that. And that actually could mean a rise in net emissions. Hmm. Uh, I, I have to think, Dieter, that when you said the pitch, uh, that, that, was a, <laughs> that was a little bit of an pun airline intended. pun, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell us more about how this new plane may change the way uh, consumers travel. You mentioned that there might be more of them as prices come down. Any other implications that you can foresee? Well, we should manage expectations here. This is a test flight coming out in 2028. At least that's when it's scheduled to come out. We know this is the government after all. And then they said designs from this aircraft, most notably the ultra thin wings could start um, appearing in sometime in the 2030s. So definitely we should manage expectations, but this could of course reduce fuel consumption. As I said earlier, that could be very helpful to the pro corporate profits of the airline. Yeah, it, it is It is noteworthy this is happening and interesting. I mean, this, is, this will be the leading edge of efficient air travel. So we'll see what, it, you know, with the government involved and NASA, let's see oh, how but it, it is goes. interesting though that NASA can can do more of these experimental uh, things because commercial airlines don't necessarily have that line item. That's right, as they should be. We're paying yeah. them enough. Uh, Deja Holger, <laughs> we really appreciate you highlighting this. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you for your time.